Well, hello, fellow ECBC uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, you know, I never imagined that I would be uh, greeting you and, and videoing you from home, uh, but who would have imagined that we'd be in the predicament we are with this pandemic? You know, I've been so encouraged about hearing about and also witnessing firsthand how many of you are reaching out to one another to encourage, to build one another up at this time. So grateful that uh, we are a church who cares for each other. I think of the uh, fellowship leaders and the life group leaders who have made it a point to phone people up, to connect with people, to email, to uh, meet in person, be it in parks or after uh, church services, to ensure that we're all reaching out to one another so that no one is left out. Your know, life groups have been really just that, literally sources of life for people, ensuring that we're connected during this, uh, this time of isolation. Uh, I'm reminded of the, some of the words in the uh, letter of Hebrews, a letter that you know that we're going through right now as a church. And, and, and in the letter of, of Hebrews, uh, we're told to let us consider how we may spur one another on, spurring each other on towards love and good deeds. And let us not give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another. And all the more as you see the day of the Lord approaching. I feel there's a number of important lessons that the Lord wants to teach us as we go through this pandemic together. And I believe that one of those lessons is to, uh, to consider and to remember how important the fellowship of believers is, how important the local church is, how important it is that we are the body of Christ and that we are reaching out to one another and caring for each other. This time of physical distancing can become for some a time of social distance which of course is not good for us. And as the, uh, the fall and, and now that September has come uh, and the days are going to be getting shorter and the, the nights longer, I think we're going, to, we're going to be needing each other even more so than we have in the past few months. Just as a log fire burns brightly when the logs are piled upon one another, so too we as Christians, we need to be close to each other, encouraging, building each other up so that we will more brightly burn for Christ. Um, join us as we pray for our government officials, as we pray for our principals and teachers so that they can make the schools and classrooms as safe as possible as our students go back to school. And of course, we want to continue to pray for our frontline workers, for our nurses and our doctors and our healthcare professionals. Join us as we as pastors and, and others in the church as we're praying for each other. The author of Hebrews in chapter 3 verse 1 uh, was writing to Christians who were going through uh, difficulty. And in the, the letter, the author says this in chapter 3, verse 1, Fix your eyes, fix your thoughts upon Jesus, who of course we know is the author, who's the perfecter of our faith, who's the mediator, and who even now brings our prayers to the Father. And so I want to encourage you during this time to ensure that you are reaching out to each other, caring for one another as you have been already, uh, to recognize how precious a gift it is to have the church, the local church, to have the fellowship of ECBC church members. And we will get through this together as we care for and as we pray for each other. And so I want to uh, leave you with these thoughts and to encourage you to, um, to look to the Lord, to know that He is with you, and uh, may you continue to, to experience the Lord's blessings as we go through this time of pandemic together. God bless.